great news for seniors on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits. You could see a significant increase of up to $3,400 per month. In this video, we will explain everything you need to know about this new benefit boost. First, we'll cover who is eligible for this increase and what the criteria are. Whether you're on Social Security, SSI, SSSDI, or VA benefits, you'll find out if you qualify for this substantial raise. Next, we'll dive into the details of the increase itself. We'll break down the amounts, how they are calculated, and what factors influence your specific increase. This will help you understand exactly what to expect. We'll also discuss the payment schedule. Find out when these new amounts will start appearing in your account and how often you can expect to receive them. Knowing the timeline will help you plan your finances better. Moreover, we'll talk about how this increase will impact your overall financial situation. From budgeting tips to managing the additional funds wisely, we'll provide practical advice to help you make the most of this benefit boost. Today, we're diving into a topic that could potentially change the lives of millions of Americans who rely on Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs VA benefits. We're talking about a groundbreaking new benefit boost that could increase monthly payments by up to $3,400. Yes, you heard that right, $3,400 per month. This is not just a small adjustment, it's a game-changing increase that could significantly improve the financial well-being of our seniors, disabled individuals, and veterans. For years, recipients of these benefits have struggled to keep up with the rising cost of living. Inflation has eaten away at the purchasing power of fixed incomes, leaving many vulnerable Americans struggling to afford basic necessities like food, housing, and health care. This new benefit boost aims to address these challenges head on and provide much needed relief to those who have served our country, worked hard throughout their lives, or faced daily challenges due to disabilities. The eligibility for this benefit boost is broad, encompassing various groups of Americans who rely on government support. This includes Social Security recipients such as retirees who have paid into the system throughout their working lives, survivors of Social Security beneficiaries, and disabled workers who qualify for SSDI. It also extends to SSI recipients, including low-income individuals age 65 or older, blind or disabled adults, and blind or disabled children. Veterans Affairs beneficiaries, including those with service-connected disabilities, those receiving non-service-connected pension benefits, and survivors of veterans receiving dependency and indemnity compensation DC are also included. The implementation of this boost will not happen all at once. Instead, there will be a phased rollout, likely starting with those deemed most in need. The first phase of increases is expected to begin in the coming fiscal year, with some beneficiaries potentially seeing increases as soon as three to six months from the official announcement of the program. However, the full rollout reaching all eligible beneficiaries could take up to 18 to 24 months. This gradual approach allows for proper administration and helps prevent errors in calculations. Beneficiaries will be notified of their specific increases through official letters detailing their new benefit amount and when the increase will take effect. For those who manage their benefits online, information will be available through official portals like My Social Security or VA.gov. There will also be widespread public information campaigns to ensure all beneficiaries are aware of the coming changes. The impact of this boost could be transformative for different groups of beneficiaries. For retirees, it could mean an improved standard of living, better healthcare affordability, reduced reliance on family support, and even the opportunity to start saving again. For disabled individuals, the increase could allow access to better care, improved quality of life, reduce stress, and greater independence. Veterans could see more comprehensive support for ongoing medical needs, increased access to mental health services, and improved support for their families. Survivors and dependents of Social Security and VA beneficiaries could also experience significant improvements in their financial stability and overall well-being. However, this massive increase also comes with potential challenges and considerations. Funding such a significant boost will require substantial adjustments to federal budget allocations and may involve reallocation of funds from other areas or the creation of new revenue streams. There will be ongoing discussions about ensuring the long-term sustainability of these increased benefits. Administrative challenges, such as calculating individual increases and preventing errors and fraud, will need to be addressed. Beneficiaries should also be aware that increased income could affect their eligibility for other means-tested programs like Medicaid or SNAP and could have implications for Medicare premiums and tax obligations. 
As we look forward to this unprecedented benefit boost, it's crucial for beneficiaries to start planning for its effective use. This might include revising budgets, managing debts, building emergency funds, planning for healthcare needs, and considering quality of life improvements. For those who find they have funds left over after meeting essential needs, it might be worth considering investments in retirement accounts, education, or other long-term financial goals. In conclusion, this new benefit boost represents a significant step towards improving the financial security and quality of life for millions of Americans who rely on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VIA benefits. While there are challenges to be addressed and details still to be finalized, the potential positive impact on beneficiaries and the broader economy is substantial. As we move forward, it's important for all potential beneficiaries to stay informed, prepare for the changes, and be ready to make the most of this unprecedented increase in support. The implementation of such a significant benefit boost is not just a matter of financial support, but also a reflection of our society's values and priorities. It represents a renewed commitment to caring for our most vulnerable populations, the elderly, disabled, and veterans who have served our nation. This increase acknowledges the rising cost of living and the unique challenges faced by these groups in maintaining a dignified standard of living. One of the most significant aspects of this boost is its potential to alleviate the financial stress that many beneficiaries have endured for years. Chronic financial stress can have severe impacts on physical and mental health, often exacerbating existing health conditions. By providing this substantial increase, we may see improvements not just in the financial situations of beneficiaries, but also in their overall health and well-being. This could lead to reduced health care costs in the long run as individuals are better able to afford preventative care and manage chronic conditions. The ripple effects of this benefit boost could extend far beyond the immediate recipients. Many beneficiaries of these programs support not just themselves, but also their families. An increase of this magnitude could mean that adult children no longer need to financially support their aging parents, or that disabled individuals can contribute more to household expenses. This could lead to improved financial stability across multiple generations of families. Moreover, the economic impact of this boost should not be underestimated. When individuals living on fixed incomes receive more money, they tend to spend it in their local communities. This influx of spending could stimulate local economies, particularly in areas with high concentrations of retirees or veterans. Small businesses in particular could see increased patronage as beneficiaries have more disposable income to spend on goods and services. However, it's important to address potential concerns about such a large increase. Some may worry about the impact on inflation or question the government's ability to sustain such high levels of benefits in the long term. These are valid concerns that will need to be carefully addressed by policymakers. It will be crucial to implement this boost in a way that is fiscally responsible and sustainable, ensuring that these benefits will be available, not just for current recipients, but for future generations as well. The boost may also necessitate a reevaluation of other social support systems. As mentioned earlier, increased income could affect eligibility for other means-tested programs. This presents an opportunity to review and potentially reform these programs to ensure they work in harmony with the increased benefits rather than creating situations where individuals might be discouraged from accepting the full boost due to fear of losing other essential supports. As we delve deeper into the implications of this monumental benefit boost, it's important to consider its potential long-term effects on society and the economy. This increase isn't just a temporary measure, it represents a fundamental shift in how we value and support our elderly, disabled, and veteran populations. The boost could also have a profound impact on the housing market, particularly in areas with high concentrations of retirees or veterans. With more income, many beneficiaries may be able to afford better housing, make necessary home repairs, or even become homeowners for the first time. This could stimulate the construction and home improvement industries, creating jobs and driving economic growth in many communities. Furthermore, this increase could lead to a shift in caregiving dynamics for many families. Currently, many adult children provide financial support or unpaid care for their aging parents or disabled family members. With this substantial boost in benefits, some of this burden could be alleviated. This could allow working age adults to focus more on their careers and their own families, potentially increasing overall workforce productivity. The healthcare industry is another sector that could see significant changes as a result of this boost. With more financial resources, beneficiaries may be able to afford better healthcare, including preventative care that they might have previously neglected due to cost concerns. 
This could lead to better health outcomes and potentially reduce the strain on emergency services and acute care facilities. Additionally, the mental health benefits of reduced financial stress could be substantial, possibly leading to decreased rates of depression and anxiety among these populations. Education and lifelong learning opportunities might also become more accessible to beneficiaries with this increase. Seniors or disabled individuals who previously couldn't afford to take classes or pursue new interests may now have the means to do so. This could lead to a more engaged and mentally active senior population contributing to better cognitive health and overall well-being.